Hi friends, uh, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity configuring a static NAT. We will see the objectives, uh, test access without NAT, then we will configure static NAT and finally we will test access with NAT. We will come to part 1, test access without NAT, attempt to connect to server 1 using simulation mode. Uh, from PC1 or L1, attempt to connect to the server 1, web page at 172.16.16.1. Use the web browser to browse server 1 at 172.16.16.1. The attempts should fail. Right, we will uh, check this uh, and, uh, to the to, uh, web server uh, and we will verify. First of all, we will get the IP address of this web server. Welcome to desktop command prompt. Here we are going to give IP config and we will get the IP address. Yes, here it is. Already they mentioned this. Right now we will come to uh, either PC1 or L1. We will come to PC1 desktop. Here we are going to use a web browser and here we are going to give this IP address of uh, uh, this server 1. We are waiting for the web page. We can see request timed out. Once more, we'll go go. No, right. We will try from L1 web browser. Here we'll give the IP address of a web server. We'll wait for the yes. Here we can see request timed out. Yes. So here, as they mentioned, the attempts uh, uh, failed. Now we will go to B from PC1 ping the R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface. The ping should succeed. Right, we will do this now. First of all, we will get the IP address of uh, the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 or R1. Right, uh, we will use enable here. We can give show IP interface brief. And here we can see the IP address of serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Yes, here it is. I am going to copy this address. Now we will come to PC1. And we are going to ping to that interface. Right. Yes, we are getting the replay. Now we will go to uh, step 2. View R1 routing table and running config. View the running configuration of R1. Note that there are no commands referring to NAT. Also verify that the routing table does not contain entries referring to the IP addresses used by PC1 and L1. Also verify that NAT is used, I mean NAT is not being used by R1. So we can give this show command show IP NAT translations. Right, we will verify this. We will come to R1. First, we will verify show running config. Enable. Oops, okay. Control six. Okay, enable. Here we are going to give show running config. And here we are going to check any NAT is configured or not. Yes, not right, 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 right. Interfaces, okay. Uh, yes, okay. Here we can see uh, uh, there is uh, no NAT configured uh, in this uh, R1. Now uh, we will verify routing table. We'll come here, show IP route, and here we can see. Uh, connected 172.16 also we can see connected 209.165.128 but here we can see the network uh, this L1 and PC1 is connected to the network so 192.168.95.108 uh, means uh, uh, to this network and here we can see 10.0. network so that means uh, uh, it is uh, not uh, referring to the IP addresses used by the PC1 uh, and L1 now we will give the next command that is a show IP NAT translations and here we can see 
uh, the NAT is not being used by R1. Yes, now we will go to part 2. Configure static NAT. Step 1. Configure static NAT statements. Refer to the topology. Create a static NAT translation to map the server 1 inside address to its outside address. Right, we will come to the uh, configuration now. We will go to R1. Well, enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give IP NAT inside. Here we are going to uh, give source. Here we are going to specify the static. Now here we are going to give the inside local IP address. Here we can see uh, inside local IP address 172.16.16.1. We will give that here 172.16.16.1 and now we can see uh, global IP address. So here the, here they given the address so 64.100.50.1 right we will give that here 64.100.50.1 Now we will come to uh, step 2. Configure interfaces. Configure the correct inside and outside interfaces. Here we can see uh, on R1 uh, this interface so that is uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 is inside and this interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 is uh, outside. We are going to uh, configure uh, these interfaces coming to R1. Right, first we will go to uh, inside that is uh, interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, here we are going to give ip nat inside now we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, this is uh, uh, outside interface now we will come to the last part uh, that is a test access with nat Verify connectivity to the server 1 web page. Open the command prompt on PC1 or L1. Attempt to ping the public address for server 1. Ping should succeed. And verify that both PC1 and L1 can now access the server 1 web page. Right, we will verify this connectivity now. First of all, we will ping from PC1 to uh, this server 1. And uh, we have to ping to the public address for server 1. Here we can see the address 64.100.50.1. So we'll come to PC1 command prompt. Here we are going to ping to 64.100.50.1. Yes, here we can see we are getting the replay. Now we will go to L1. Command prompt right. Here we are going to ping to the server one uh, sixty four dot hundred dot fifty dot one. Yes, here we can see we are getting the replay. Now we will try to access uh, web server uh, one web page. So first of all, we will come to PC one web browser. Here we are going to give that. Uh, public IP address yes we are getting web page we will come to L1 web browser yes we are getting the web page now we will go to step 2 view NAT translations use the following commands to verify the static NAT configuration we are going to use this show running config, show IP NAT translations and show IP NAT statistics. Come to R1. Here we are going to give show running config and we can verify the NAT. Interfaces. Yes, here we can see what we set. Here we can see the details. 
also we can see the interface inside and outside yes here you can see ip not inside that is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 on uh, r1 and serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 yes that is outside ip not outside yes that's all in this pika tracer activity uh, and we can see the completion status here 100 out of 100 friends if you have any doubt regarding configuring static NAT please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb also click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my uh, youtube channel so that you will get latest video uploading info into your gmail thank you